So uh, first, I'm happy that everybody is here, although it's hot and already have some parts of the conference <laughs> behind you. But I'm happy to have some really great, interesting people on this panel who will talk about, will talk with me about Wikipedia research and Wikipedians. So we have Deborah Weber-Wolf, also known as Wise Woman. She is a long time contributor to the German Wikipedia. She is professor at the University of Applied Science, HTV in Berlin. Um, she mostly researches about, or is best known for research about plagiarism on the internet and not on the internet and plagiarism, but she also published at least one paper about Wikipedia. We have Manuel Merz, who is a former Wikipedian who is now a um, researcher on Wikipedia, who is at the University Ilmenau, um, who does the editor survey. And he will talk about more. We have Sarah Stierch, um, who is a long time Wikipedian, who is still an active Wikipedian. She was Wikipedian in residence at the Smithsonian Museums in Washington. She's now a fellow of the foundation, and she's done some informal Wikipedia research, so she at least knows what it feels like. And we have Moritz Braun, who's also a long-time Wikipedian, who is a political scientist, who will present a paper tomorrow, but he feels more like a Wikipedian and is not, not yet doing formal research on the Wikipedia. Um, and I, <coughs> I can tell you about a bit this panel and why does it happen. There was a similar conference to this academy some time ago, which was um, called Wikipedia, a critical point of view. That was a scientific conference, but there were many Wikipedians attending. And afterwards, we had these bizarre talks where some researchers and some Wikipedians were just arguing with each other, how does Wikipedia work? You just see they couldn't get to each other. They were worlds apart. And afterwards, there were many Wikipedians who said, oh, these researchers, they don't know anything. They just must send it. If you would do what they are proposing, they would get banned in two days. And yet these researchers thought, oh, these innocent children of Wikipedia, they don't know what they're doing. They know, don't know, understand it. I don't know how it actually works, and they really need to talk. A and I think that's sad. We have um, so much knowledge about Wikipedia, Wikipedians and Wikipedia researchers, but there's hardly any dialogue on eye level. And so I'm not sure if this is necessary or if we should talk more to each other of the um, institutional grounds where we don't know. And so we have this panel for many people who know many great things who will maybe help us understand the problem better. So Deborah, you did actually your Wikipedia ended form and you published a paper about Wikipedia. Mm -hmm. So you do know both sides. Yeah, thank you, Dirk. Um, just uh, perhaps a little bit about this because I'm in this weird situation of being a professor and a professor for computer science and a Wikipedian. And this is kind of strange because um, there's an enormous number of computer science professors that aren't really sure what this Wikipedia thing is all about. Um, I have given talks for computer science professors on how to edit the Wikipedia. Don't laugh. Uh, it's not just pushing the button because the, the issue that we have is, this is my text, isn't it? And that was my idea when I first started with the Wikipedia 2004, my first edit. Um, I was so proud of myself, I was interested in, in hypermedia, and I'd done something for Wikipedia, it was so cool. And about 15 minutes later, somebody changed my article. Um, it was Angela, so I'm very, very uh, proud that Angela was uh, editing my article. Uh, but, and I had to admit, after I looked at it, and I got over my anger, that she'd made it better. And this is a bit of a problem that we as scientists are used to owning our words. And so going into a situation like Wikipedia is kind of scary because somebody might change what I'm saying and make it wrong. Then there's the second issue as a scientist dealing with, uh, with Wikipedia. Um, maybe it's stupid for my CV. You know, people are so focused on, on doing stuff for your CV. And um, that, that's a hard thing to be dealing with. So they would, if they edit, they edit anonymously or as an IP, and then they get some administer, administrator coming and killing what they actually do. Uh, that ends up being a problem. So this is an issue on that aspect. The paper that I wrote was such that I was telling philosophers how the Wikipedia works. Uh, the paper's called Im Anfang war das Wort. In the beginning was the word. And after the, the talk, the, the philosopher said, oh, could you please write this up as, a, as an article for us? Because now we finally understand what it all is about. 
okay, I didn't think I could explain the entire Wikipedia, but a little bit for them. So that perhaps shows these uh, how we as researchers uh, kind of look at this weird thing, Wikipedia, that we're not really sure what it's about. That's all for now. I have a lot of other issues, but let's start there. So thanks, Debbie. Uh, Manuel, you were a Wikipedian, and then you started research, and then you wouldn't want to edit Wikipedia anymore. <laughs> or was it maybe different? And did your Wikipedia editing give you any insights into your research? Well, absolutely, it, it did, and I think it is um, crucial to be a Wikipedian first and, and a researcher on Wikipedia later. Um, but like, my story was a little bit different. Um, when I did my first, or when I had my first contact with Wikipedia, um, of course, I read a lot and um, I learned a lot. I was a student um, at that time. And through all that lurking and, and reading, I thought, well, I think I understand how Wikipedia works. Well, <laughs> up until that moment where I wrote my first article, <laughs> and almost as Debbie's story, but uh, my article was deleted completely. <laughs> Probably also um, a classical story in, in Wikipedia. Um, and then later on, I also noticed how difficult it can be to um, overcome dubious content uh, in Wikipedia if there are editors who strongly believe in that content. Um, so this made me even more fascinated um, about Wikipedia. And from that moment on, I had uh, like um, a researcher's perspective on Wikipedia um, and knew I wanted to do more. Um, I wanted to do research on Wikipedia. Um, that was in 2006, I think. My first edit was in 2005. And in 2009, I was almost banned from Wikipedia during my <laughs> um, first bigger study um, on Wikipedia. Um, it was seemingly um, controversial somehow. Uh, <laughs> now, my sampling procedure, and maybe I'll talk about that later. Uh, and now I'm doing uh, my PhD on Wikipedia again. So. Um, Yes, I switched from being a Wikipedian to being a researcher on Wikipedia, but I would prefer to do both. Um, but in the end, um, there's only time to do one. So Sarah, you're another one who just crosses both worlds. You haven't done formal research on Wikipedia, but you were at the Smithsonian. So you were at an interchange where there's a highly um, respected institution who want to translate from Wikipedia and you're still an active Wikipedian. So do you think it's possible to talk to each other and to um, bring, you, did you learn something from Smithsonian about Wikipedia? Um, I, uh, well, uh, it's kind of a different can of worms um, because the Smithsonian, actually a large portion of my work with the Smithsonian as Wikipedian in residence, and the Smithsonian is in Washington, D.C., it's the world's largest museum complex. There's 19 different museums under the wing of the Smithsonian. And I was doing work at the American Art Archives and at the Smithsonian Institution's archives. I'm not an, arch I'm not an archivist, I'm actually a curator. Um, I have a Native American history degree and my master's in museum studies. I curate art exhibitions um, and became a Wikipedian before all of that, I had a past life as a makeup artist, fell into Wikipedia editing, just screwing around one day at home, seeing some small errors. A Couple years later, I had to stay home um, from an accident I had, and um, I started editing Wikipedia and made an account and got hardcore into it. Um, and eventually got more and more involved in the community and that was actually stemmed from working in museums um, because I got involved in volunteering to partner with, um, how to, to work with cultural institutions so they can partner with Wikipedia, you know, the Glam Wiki movement, if you haven't heard of it yet, um, galleries, libraries, archives, and museums. But as a, a trained researcher in a liberal arts sense, um, I started to do work for the Smithsonian as not just the Wikipedian, but also as a consultant um, doing research for an upcoming museum uh, exhibition about African-American art. And it was the first time I started to write uh, very lengthy uh, works about these artists who did not have Wikipedia articles. And I started to bring all of the research I was doing 
and I was placing it on Wikipedia. So, you know, when, when Deborah talks about the ownership of words as researchers, I've been there and I've done that. And then I realized how much more valuable it was for me to put it on Wikipedia, especially when I was writing about people that weren't being represented. But this is maybe going a little bit off topic because w with what you do and uh, you you know, researching Wikipedia as a thing and as a hub and as a life form and an object and a space and a cultural phenomenon and et cetera, et cetera. I've done very little of that, but I did do a survey last year called the Wiki Women's Survey, which was informal. Um, I'm not a trained uh, statistics type of person. I have a terrible math ability. I had to find help to get me to figure out all the percentages and all that stuff. But it was incredibly challenging for me. Um, I had to reach out to thousands of people that I believed were women on English Wikipedia, who of course edited in hundreds of different language Wikipedias, not just English. I only ran into two guys and I invited over 2,000 women to participate in the study and 700 responded. And um, you can read it all on Meta, it's all there. And it was basically for me to kind of explore why women were editing Wikipedia and why women who edit Wikipedia stopped and the ebb and flow of our work, you know, and why we do what we do. And um, it was a very interesting experience. Some community members were kind of freaked out and I got a lot of backlash, but because um, everybody has their own opinion and oddly enough, a lot of them were men, so, um, which was even more fascinating. But I don't know, I know that didn't answer your question, but gave you a little background about my experience. Uh, so now it's you, are the other Wikipedian around here, but who still has a talk tomorrow. So I guess you're interested in Wikipedia research and you do read papers about Wikipedia research. And I guess as every active Wikipedian, you have been researched on one way or the another mm -hmm. and asked, but um, did the research give you any insights you didn't have before? Do you can be a better Wikipedian because you know some research? <laughs> um, well, um, in Wikipedia, um, I acted more or less as a sociologist um, in the respect that I um, tried to bring in sociological um, whatever research into the process of writing articles of um, making discussions and I noticed that it was absolutely fruitless to some extent because um, it didn't didn't make any difference because people were just going on and ignored it and uh, called it bullshit or whatever and um, so um, many people, uh, I've noticed, are very critical towards sociology or social sciences in general, and Wikipedians are no exception. And um, I, for, for a very long time, I thought, uh, yeah, well, be they are dumb children. And, and I sided with um, maybe the sociologists from the critical point of view um, conference. But um, I have noticed that a lot of research on Wikipedia does not really address the problems that uh, Wikipedians encounter. Wikipedia might be very um, mystical and um, somehow unexplainable to outsiders, but um, if you s even if you are a, a long time Wikipedian and uh, you have a lot of experience um, in this field, um, you still uh, come to points where you think you have got it right and then um, you notice maybe you ha have a proposal um, proposal and um, people are going to vote for it as Wikipedians sometimes do and um, they vote against it and you don't know why and um, you're wondering um, what they are doing and what you are doing here and why um, you are even voting for something when you um, should actually write an encyclopedia and uh, if you are really writing an encyclopedia and um, many of these questions are taken for granted um, by Wikipedians and by researchers um, although um, Wikipedians um, have come to a point I think in the German community at least um, they have noticed that there are problems but they are not addressed by the scientists. The scientists are exagger exaggerating um, a bit. Um, it's um, 
the miracle of collaboration and how could we use this model for a new society, um, for open access and um, uh, all, all this stuff because Wikipedia is a model and we, we don't know why they do it but it's beautiful and we should use it for whatever. And um, Wikipedians, um, they read the social science and um, they think it has nothing to do with my problems or what I do because um, when I wh when I am writing um, articles, it's, it's not about networks and it's not about power. I just want to write articles and have people in my way and I don't know why and um, this paper doesn't help me at all. So I think um, a lot of um, research does add to a misunderstanding of Wikipedia and of social science. Um, but Sarah, you said you did some research about real problems of the real Wikipedia. And the what? you did some informal research about real problems of the Wikipedia. No, Sarah said it. About the Wiki Women survey. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then afterwards, the Wikipedians didn't like it. So, but yes, but I mean, even if you do address real, if, if you do address problems that Wikipedians think are real problems, which can make they still don't like the research, or how did it happen? What happened? Well, I think, um, oh God, I don't remember. I haven't looked at that talk page in a while. Probably because it just pissed me off so much. I just stopped because it was a bunch of wacko guys who were banned from Wikipedia, English Wikipedia and they all hang out on Meta. So if you get banned from English Wikipedia or whatever, I'm sure it happens with German or whatever language, you end up hanging out on l less exciting Wikimedia projects like Wiktionary and, no offense to Wiktionary, but oh no, 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 uh, Wik Wikiversity has got a lot of banned users on it. It's got a lot of banned users on it. In English, it's a terrible place to go to, terrible place in English Wikipedia. Wikibooks, whatever. Yeah, Wikibooks. So in English, y y all of the people who are banned from Wikipedia go to the other ones. And then they get banned, and they go to Meta. And then they do really weird stuff on Meta, and, oh, God, it's weird. And a lot of those people commented on my survey, <laughs> so I guess it sort of doesn't matter. But what I see, we, we've, when you were stating a lot of researchers come in and just want to write about, oh, the collaborative excitement of why Wikipedians do what they do, and is this an ideal utopian society? No, it's not. Um, but uh, with English Wikipedia, everyone's obsessed about the gender gap. Why? And it's great because it's helped me become a fellow at the foundation and it's, it's something, <laughs> oh so no, no. That was so off the record. And it's on the record. Um, <laughs> of course. No, but it's, it's been a really great opportunity for me, is what I'm trying to say. And it's something I care deeply about as a feminist, and blah, 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 and as a Wikipedian. And, uh, but I read all the time new data only 9% of women are editors. And that's from the new editor survey. We all know 9% of editors of Wikipedia are women. But then researchers come out and they do all this secretive research with little tiny groups of, of women or people. And it ends up just being more irrelevant. Like we know there's a freaking problem. We know only 9 to 13% of editors are women. So what are you doing about it? Aside from just writing about it. It's done nothing but shown us that there's a problem and everyone sits around and cries about it. and No one wants to start doing things. That's what I get really pissed off about when it comes to research, is that it's there, you publish your paper, good job. So what are you going to do about it now? <laughs> do you want to answer, Debbie? <laughs> Not to answer, but to uh, add more fuel to the fire. Um, uh, because there's another aspect of research that, that I had experienced very early. Um, I was using uh, or trying to use Wikipedia in instruction and have students uh, write for the Wikipedia first, and that was a disaster because their articles all got deleted within 15 minutes uh, if, if they lasted that long. Uh, so we gave that one up real quick and um, gone into develop, trying to develop software for the Wikipedia seeing things that were missing and saying, oh, we got really got to get these things uh, done. Now, not all of them were really brilliant, but some of them were pretty good, but they've never been able to get them into the Wikipedia because the wall is so high to get in. And one of the tools that was I thought was really great had to do with uh, printing uh, Wiki articles, selecting Wiki articles, and preparing a book from them. And I mean, it was a, of course, it was a woman doing the, the development, and she was in the chat rooms, and she was trying to talk the guys into, she wanted her stuff to get into the tool room, and she just couldn't get the, the respect that she needed from inside the Wikipedia there. And so I've pretty much given up uh, trying to get students to do that because it's, it's too depressing uh, that, that things don't get working. So we also have a little bit from, from Wikipedia ourselves, our opinion of ourselves, and we are these brilliant guys and no one else can come in and tell us what to do, is also an aspect that we need to think about.
social construct. I mean, that's probably the key of being more interested in any number of social constructs. So, Manuel, you actually did the numbers. <laughs> 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 Talk now. <laughs> 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 well, um, and, and you said you were almost blocked when you did your research, so <laughs> obviously some people had problems with your getting the numbers as well. And you can justify yourself now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, first I wanted to say that there's actually research on that, like this problem on um, not being able to enter the community mm -hmm. um, as a new editor, mm -hmm. um, but also as someone from outside who has some fascinating tool that could help Wikipedia so much. Um, it has to do with like uh, groups forming natural barriers against mm -hmm. outgroups. So there's a lot of um, social group think um, and um, social psychology involved there. And but the thing is, there are theoretical models um, that researchers um, like to, to find and like to test on certain um, subjects, for example, Wikipedia. And in this context, Wikipedia is just a means um, to test this theory, to test this model. And um, the model might be useful for Wikipedia and for Wikipedians and for the community, but usually it is not so much because it is very theoretical. Um, what you expect from research seems to be um, applied research, like research that um, actually helps you do the things that you want to do um, or solve the, pr the, the gender gap, for example. But there is, <laughs> I, I have to admit, yeah, you realized it, I'm sure you realized it by now, there's uh, so um, few useful research um, on, on that particular subject because I think um, nobody knows as of now um, or till now what, what we can do but there has to be more research um, on that and it is an absolutely fascinating and interesting um, subject though so I'm, I'm sure there will be more research I hope there will be more research everybody in this room should feel encouraged to do research um, on the subject matter okay I was asked um, why I was yeah, why I got banned. Um, well, you have to know, it is really hard, almost impossible, um, to get a representative view on the community. Like, to know, for example, how many um, women are editing in Wikipedia, uh, this is not an easy task. It sounds easy, but it is not, because you have to define um, who is, like, who are you asking? Is it only active Wikipedians? Is it um, also Wikipedians that um, rarely edit? Um, so where do you, where are the boundaries for, for, for what you're looking for? And then if you found this, like, theoretically somehow, um, you have to reach these people. Um, you have to, in my case, um, invite them uh, to do a questionnaire. And I, th I think um, I found a very interesting way of doing it. Um, I created a bot that watched on the latest edits. Um, and from these edits, um, I knew who the authors were. And um, I took a sample from these authors. And then came the moment where I had to invite them somehow. So um, I told the bot to invite this sample of users via their discussion pages, like via their talk pages, and by sending them emails via the API system, which is possible. Um, and, um, well, I thought I would get banned um, earlier. I didn't get banned <laughs> at all in the end, because um, as I um, already mentioned, I was a Wikipedian first, so I knew um, how to ask questions. I think if Wikipedians get a questionnaire and like from question one you see that the, the person that is asking you has no idea what he should ask because the question is not relevant to your, uh, it doesn't just fit um, into what you're actually doing, and then you give up easily and you are um, angry and you get bad feedback, like really harsh feedback. There is. Uh, no, no, <laughs> yeah, but it was, it was positive. Like from people who took the questionnaire, I got a lot of positive, um, like encouraging uh, feedback. But um, like there are, um, there 
the good thing about Wikipedia is it doesn't forget. So you can look up uh, um, other researchers and how they performed in doing similar tasks. Um, and it is in parts like the reaction of the community can be devastating. And if you have to write a final thesis and you, like your, your um, degree depends um, on the research you're trying to do on Wikipedia, um, and you're given a really hard time, and at some point you are actually blocked, um, you don't want to be that person. So be sure to be a Wikipedian first, to experience Wikipedia, to know what you're doing, to know what you're asking, to know where the problems um, actually are, and where Wikipedians um, will really like to answer your questions. Uh, yeah, I, th I think you said um, about the one problem we have, which is just like questionnaires that you read as Wikipedia and think, no, actually I can't answer, no, it's even better, I just can't answer it because it's not the right question to answer. But we still have the other problem is that, that um, for many researchers just about the theory and Wikipedia as a means to prove it. But as a Wikipedian, I think many Wikipedians just know, hey, I'm a means to somebody else's theory, which just grants some solidity. So how does it feel to be a means to somebody else's degree? Um, I think that's an experience nobody likes. If it's just, um, well, we're just another kind of laboratory rat. And uh, it doesn't matter if we're writing an encyclopedia or uh, whatever, um, playing uh, online um, RPGs. Um, if it's not relevant um, to the researcher and all um, that matters to him is his theory and his grade, um, we're not likely to cooperate. And um, I think it, it is a hindrance um, if one doesn't take the Wikipedians um, for serious. And um, if one doesn't take um, their opinions and what they do um, as uh, serious or for real. And um, I had bad experiences with that. And um, for example, um, it's, it's not an accusation of your study, but um, when it came out, there was a um, major uprise in the German community about um, the gender issue. It wasn't an issue before, but then it was, and some were arguing, oh, it's just uh, such another social science bullshit, whatever, uh, we don't have a gender problem. Because we're all equal, we're all equal. You can see if, if, she's a w if he's a woman or she's uh, a man or whatever, we're all equal because we don't have bodies here, we have accounts. And um, all that matters is the article someone writes. And it's not a matter of discrimination. I don't see if she's a woman. I can't discriminate oh, her. she's a woman? <laughs> yeah. And then, and oh, she's a woman. Oh, yeah, a quota. OK, I understand. Um, they, she wants um, some extra portion or whatever for, of, of the cake. And um, I mean, this is just um, um, some study intended very um, well and um, pointing to a real problem, but um, it's somehow, somehow going wrong. And I had other experiences, for example, there was one guy here from Berlin, from um, the Humboldt University, and he was conducting an ethnography of Wikipedia, where he just said, okay, I want to become a Wikipedian and see what it feels like, and want to see what these people are really doing. And um, he was interviewing me, and this, um, uh, this uh, looks like some uh, feel-good um, research where you do some little ethnography and you talk to the people and in the end um, it's some nice kind of story but it doesn't really matter but um, for me it was really an experience where I could see the problems I had but that um, I had forgotten or that I had overlooked in the course um, of my socialization in Wikipedia and this was a very, very nice experience, and I just read it yesterday and thought um, this could really be um, an example of um, how Wikipedians would cooperate in a study and in uh, social science together um, with um, the researcher. And actually, he, he uh, received a very nice grade. He got a straight A. Well, if I can say really quick in response to, you know, if, if one, if my survey, which was more, su it wasn't an official survey by the foundation, it was before we had to go through all this, we now have like a regiment you have to go through to apply to research in Wikipedia. 
this was before all that. This is just me as a volunteer who was irritated and wanted to figure out maybe my fellow female editors have the, have the answer to what we can do to make Wikipedia a better place for women to contribute. And if this survey of 500, 600, whatever women pissed off that many people in Germany and made them talk about it, then it worked, in my opinion. It, it, it I, don't, I know you guys are, have been updated about the quota situation in Germany. Well, it happens in most countries. So not necessarily in the States, but Chile, but a lot of South American countries now have quotas. It's just part of the scene. But if the conversation's happening, that means my survey did do something, which I think is exciting. And I got great feedback from women from around the world just because I was caring about them as individuals and wanting to talk to them. And, and it taught me a lot and it made me think about how I edit as a contributor, as a woman, as a general contributor and how I view other people. Um, there was something else I wanted to say, but it doesn't really matter. But I think the ethnographic thing is really interesting, so, too. Your, your question of was it on a wiki, or like was a wiki page itself? So what was it that you were reading? Oh, it's on meta as a wiki report, I uh, the thing. Um oh, no, so I d what I did was I, w I went and did, um, oh god, it took forever. Because I don't know how to run bots, and no one was going to help me and with this. And so I went and did everything from info boxes. In English Wikipedia, we have little info boxes where you can put, like, I'm a female editor. I live in user, user boxes. boxes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. And um, Josh, everybody, Josh. And uh, so we have user boxes, and you know, it tells you where you're from, what you like, whatever. And I've tracked all of these user boxes. I have some nifty gadget that tells me the gender of the person if they've cho chosen it. I even judge people by their names. Whatever I could do to figure out this person could potentially be a woman. And then I left a thing, a, a, a template, like a really friendly, only 9% of editors are, are women in Wikipedia. I want to learn more about that and let's talk about it and start some dialogue and take this survey. And um, a lot of people clicked on it. And I think I also emailed some people too. I think I emailed, I can't remember, but it took a weeks, weeks for me to do. Um, but I kind of, it, nobody really noticed it, and I didn't have any problems, but I also wasn't running a bot, which tends to open up a can of worms. So, but um, before Manuel answers, and Debbie wants to say something else, um, I also thank Josh, and I want to um, open up the round to the audience, because I said about talking to each other and sharing knowledge, so we should do it, and you can think about <laughs> The question I think we should say, Debbie and Manuel, just say something you want to answer since then we can go to the audience. Yeah, just very briefly, I just wanted to say that we need to remember that when we're doing science, we should try, or I think it's important that we do it from the outside, that we're sort of impartial to the whole situation. And this can uh, cause a lot of emotional upheaval, although we see with the emotional upheaval in Germany how important this, pro this topic really is with the, uh, the amount of denial that's going on here. I just want to say it wasn't that bad. Like uh, people were really um, friendly and were really en encouraging. It was just it. It is enough if some uh, individuals um, like care about your research <laughs> in a bad way. Uh, <laughs> so let's go to the audience. I, I don't know. Do we have Do we have another micro or just? So Melepka, do you have? So was the first one to raise your arm? Um, I'm not sure, but I think someone will tell me whether there exists a, a lemma, Wikipedia Forschung or Wikipedia Research. Uh, is there a lemma? And when there is one, uh, are there accesses to the former research? I got a questionnaire some years ago, and I asked for give me some information and results when you are ready with it. I never heard about it. So uh, maybe that I am the only one, but maybe that there are some others who had the same experience. Okay. Yeah, that's a good question. I think many people knew, and it's a just a matter of being a means. So there's a lot of research going on, and you have these people, and then the people just go away have the degree and you never know what they did with your answers. Just a problem that we had more people in the audience, Josh. Do you just I, want to speaking of the I don't think they need a microphone, right? No. Look at the camera. 
Also kein Wort mehr. Ja. Die Worte blieben außer Werkstatt. is that in the process of trying to conceptualize exactly what is the picture of the community as it exists, we seem to generate some sort of righteous indignation, as we have seen, for example, with Jesse Mendez's fall and the impact that supposedly had here in Germany with respect to women editors. Now, we don't have quotas yet in the Philippines. Unfortunately, they only have three members. They only have three women editors, which is the type of that I know personally. Or if they have perpetuated themselves into our present, they tend to do so in a more negative light. If, um, for example, people got worked up over the SJ controversy, mm -hmm. they, that apparently has led to people no longer being as assuming of good faith among other editors as we have, let's say, three to four years ago. Mm -hmm. Similarly, we can't really tell whether or not um, people become indignant over women not being able to participate in Wikimedia projects as well as men have, will necessarily perpetuate the kind of results that we would want to see five, ten years from now. So I think a major thing we have to see here is whether or not the research that we are generating as a result of trying to contextualize what is wrong with our community will necessarily lead to improving the community as it Do you want to answer? Well, I can uh, say something. Um, I think, again, it was done more for my own. The, the, f the foundation wasn't going to fund an opportunity for me to do a formal research study. We decided that, I, so I said, well, I'm going to do it myself. And because I, I wanted this to teach me what I could do and how I can work with other people. And maybe other women would also get inspired to want to help out and communities, men and women. And I think the fact that it's, irritated people and frustrated people is a good thing. I think that it's really infuriated women who didn't know is a good thing. And I'm still trying to tap into that, how do we now move beyond research and take action? Like I said, I don't care about the numbers anymore until the numbers start to move up. Or I'll get really scared if they start to go down. So to me, perpetuating it and making it, I don't, um, it's not a trend, it's a genuine problem. And while it might be trendy to some people, I was brought on as a community fellow to help figure this out and explore opportunities. And I can't do it by myself. So if we want to see this problem, which is just going to lead to a new problem, in, in two years, in the next year, I think we're going to be talking about the lack of diversity when it comes to skin tone in Wikipedia. Absolutely. You know, obviously we have issues with that, and you can see it with coverage. You know, so. At first we're with women, so then we get done with women, and then we move on to, in, in, in the United States, in English Wikipedia, other more, more diversity. So it's just going to keep, the ball's going to keep rolling, and, and I, yeah. hopefully people want to help out. <laughs> so. yeah, but I mean, we had, we had about um, Wikipedia as a means to prove some theory. I mean, we do have the problem that research is used, to further some mean, uh, is used as a means to improve Wikipedia, mm -hmm. which is not what research is mostly about. I mean, it's about. It's yeah, yeah. It's it's can I, I mean, we have. Uh, yeah, yeah. That's that. not only applied, but it's also some research activism, which of course can have problems on the research theory. But Manuel, you wanted to say something. I really think the question um, is interest, really, really interesting because it tackles a point that is not easy to to solve. 
Um, because even if you try to do the right kind of research, the research that is important or could, yeah, is important for Wikipedia that answers questions for Wikipedia, for example, concerning the gender gap. How do you communicate these, um, like the results from your research back to the community mm -hmm. um, and back to the me to media, et cetera? Because we, in this particular um, instant, we had um, a lot of media attention um, about the gender gap in Wikipedia. But are the results from that the results that we would like to have? Because if people know, like if women see or Wikipedia um, seems to be a place only for, for men, um, and that w that's how it was framed um, a lot of the times, then is it a place where I want to um, work, where I want to invest my time? Probably not. So in a way, you have to strategically um, work on the results. Like there are better ways on on uh, on like doing public public relations with the results that you you get in order to achieve the things that you want. So it, it is not easy. It is really not easy. Um, I might add um, to this point. Um, Concerning the sexism issue and the gender issue, um, we recently had a case in the German community where uh, a user um, yeah, um, called another user who um, um, yeah, said um, of, him of herself that she was female, um, he doubted that she was female. And he, um, this user was then accused um, of sexism. And also with regards to your study, he was accused that he was one of um, um, the reasons that there are so um, few women on Wikipedia. And I think um, this is both um, an issue where you can see um, that your work is very important because it points to a real problematic and that is um, is also problematic itself because it's difficult um, to communicate, as um, was said before. Because um, how do we tell people that they are sexist if they don't regard themselves as sexist? For example, um, uh, what? How can we um, tell them um, what it has to do with them and not only with um, sexism or some uh, social theory or whatever? But how can we relate it to their world, to their practices, and um, to what they do so they can um, understand what we are trying to say as researchers? Um, so I want to uh, I give you the mic, but I want to go to the audience again. Danny, you had some questions, which is, I mean, you did some research as well, and you're yeah. close to the community, I would say. Yeah, I, th I think that's really interesting. Um, I think many people are not aware what you can actually mine from the data and know about them if you do some research. Um, and Debbie, you seem to really want to say something to it. 
Well, you've just said it, <laughs> but th this is exactly the point, I think, is that uh, far too many people do not realize how much data is really in there, how many things you can actually go back and say, that's this article. I can, I can see the text where someone was, was uh, berating someone else, and uh, there are a lot of little tools out there. For example, I can get a list of all the articles that I've edited the most. Well, you look at that list and you see a lot about me. There's a lot of personal information that you can obtain just from this kind of a list. And uh, you're very correct to say that we, that we could be doing a lot more uh, research in that area, I'm sure. Um, and maybe it's just that the researchers have to realize that it's all out there and mineable. Uh, many are not aware of how easy it is to actually go in and, and, and suck out the data. So maybe in a few years we'll be seeing a little bit more of that. I would answer differently because I think right now um, it is not as easily uh, mineable as it could be. Um, because data sets, for example, for a long time were not accessible, things like that, like just technical um, stuff. Um, we, could, we can make it easier uh, for researchers. My bachelor's can use it? Yeah. Did you show them how to do it? No. They've I just tell them to go out there and suck the Wikipedia and sort out the Yeah, okay. Stuff so like you that. They learn. It's very surprising. It works. You, so you use the API? Hmm? You use the API? Okay, th but that's the easy way. Um, like I was talking about, uh, like about the dump, with the dumps. Yeah. So we can make that easier. Um, that would be uh, an approach to that. And the danger from like that's the other question that I wanted to answer. The danger um, from be from being individually mined is not a danger that you have to fear from researchers because researchers usually are not interested in uh, certain individuals, but it is a more general problem uh, on how um, we deal with, with private data um, in like open data sets. That's a question or something to say? I think it's... Okay, you finish with your... Yeah. 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 Just, yeah, yeah. No, just, just talk. It would be better to it would be better. on camera. So if you want to be on the back shot. Bit, you know. So, um, so re re regarding that, I, I don't know how to, to <laughs> put myself now to, uh, I'm giving the back to, to anyone. Okay, so that, that's probably, okay, so, sorry. Uh, so regarding this, this last discussion, uh, I'm sorry, but it's trivial to get that information right now. Trivial, I mean, in seconds, because there is a public service uh, through the tool server that it's available uh, uh, through the revision history uh, of any page. Uh, to, to get that information. So, I mean, you, you fill in the name, uh, username, and, and that information is public. But that's my point. So, my, t my point is, I'm sorry, but that information is public. So, I, I know there are ethical implications involved in this. So, we all know. Uh, I have been studying as well open source communities for several years, and we have the same problem with people that are uh, traced to be contributing to projects in working hours, in office hours, and they don't want the, uh, the company that is paying them <laughs> money to, to know about that. Other companies, uh, don't, uh, they don't have any problems, but for some companies, that's problematic. But believe it or not, this is a public space, and a public space that implements social translucence, so it's auditable. And being auditable means that, I'm sorry, but you need to, to, to know about that, so you need, uh, you need to know that some people can learn what you are doing and when you are doing that. So it's like going through the street and doing something in public. So maybe we don't have that conscience, uh, conscious sorry, I in our minds, but it's a public space. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. It's like person of interest make real. Okay, so you, you have a, a personal tracker uh, and everyone can uh, like a yeah. Every time they go exactly. Okay. Right. Is far more I have noticed that the data growing trend as to how people have wanted to privatize the public space that supposedly you were supposed to use there. I think there is that you cannot demand that you split, um, that you, you close yourself into a bubble and then privatize the space around you. Because if that happens, if you end up taking other people with you as well. So I think you have to 
try and thread a very fine line here between wanting to ensure that if you're doing something, people do not know that you're doing something, and making sure that if you are doing something, people have a right to know about it because you are contributing to something that is a public space to begin with. Um, maybe the panel has a better wisdom of this than I do. Um, maybe <coughs> so that's another one. Do you want to answer? Uh, so, first of all, I want to say something about the public space. You know, as a Wikipedian, I'm not sure if I really want to have the data more accessible because it's accessible for some reasons and the research is not one of them. It's more like a collateral damage. And when we see how hostile the reaction can be when you ask people directly, I'm not sure if Wikipedians will be more happy if you don't ask them and just take the data. So should there be some limits what can be on data mining, what you can't do, what does all data miners say? Well, you're asking um, a scientist and yeah, of course there are ethical um, limits and there are usually um, review boards um, at universities that l have a look not at- Not in Germany. Not in Germany. Germany doesn't it's true. have ethical review boards. They should have. I, I'll sign that one, but that's a that's a big problem that we have here. Is that we can just do research and anything we feel like it. Okay, true. Apart from that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But again, usually the danger in this um, area is not from researchers because they are not interested um, in you as a person. Um, they are interested in their models and, and trying to solve problems that don't have n necessarily something to do with you as an individual. Um, but of course the data is there and Felipe Ortega, he should um, have been sitting here because he has a much more um, controversial um, or extreme position uh, on this than um, people on the panel here, I think. Um, and um, let me, um, well, um, Felipe, um, actually does um, create um, a, a toolbox that facilitates um, to use um, the data dumps. Um, so this is actually um, work that he does for um, all of us. Um, and I just wanted to advertise this. Um, it's uh, wiki dat data, dat wiki dat, wiki dat. Okay. Uh, so actually see we're close to eight when we are supposed to meet at the desk to go to the beer garden and stuff don't want to stand between you and your beer. Uh, so Maurit wants to say, and Frida wanted to ask something else. Anybody else with something to say? Johannes? Yeah, I hope. Okay, so let's make this the last round. Um, a few words on the public space. Um, it's one point if you regard Wikipedia as a public space where people run around on the streets and you can follow them and observe them and that's fine and I think um, everybody should be able to do that and um, there should be no limits to do that. But if you uh, create a scientific study and you expose the data you've created, you accumulate data that is not trivial to accumulate or to access, at least not if you don't have the tools for it, which uh, not everybody has, um, then you create something new, which is no longer a public space, but you highlight people, you highlight what they're doing, and you um, put your own words to it. And people no longer have control over that, even if they agreed um, to act in a public space. And I think this is something every researcher should be aware of when he or she um, does research on Wikipedia or any other um, open community. So, and Frida? Uh, 
Yeah. Yeah, but you know, uh, I mean, uh, as a Wikipedian, it's easy if you're getting asked, but we have still some people in the audience. Um, that's very I think what would help is if you're more aware of each other and just being aware of the results of research I think would help a lot. I know at the very beginning we tried to keep this page of um, research that's been done on Wikipedia and that thing got you know moved and edited and I actually don't know where the page is anymore. Um,
Yeah. Yeah. Like I read the, the the paper and maybe they were right on this case and maybe not on this case. That case can happen also. Yeah, it has to go both ways. And we have to discuss. We have you know, we have to go out and explain to people what is it you know, what is it that we're doing here and we have to read what they do and, and get a discussion going because that's what science is all about, in my opinion. Yeah, well these are nice last words. Um we can go now to the beer garden and discuss. We have so always we have Wikipedians here, we have researchers here. We know what you need to talk more to each other and maybe less about each other. And it's a great opportunity to do just that. Thank